as you're writing, just say, just give a round of applause for Brother Larry with your hand to your hip. Yes, yes, keep, 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 keep writing. Brother Larry, <clears throat> how many years has it been? Oh, it's like six. Six years. Six years ago. Brother Larry, how long have you been smoking till that six years? Oh, ever since I was 17. 17? Yep. Wow. wow, so that's been like probably like three years now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> about 40 years. Years, 40 about years? About 47 years. 47 years? Yeah, it's about 47, yeah. Okay, some of you have not lived twice as less as he has been addicted to one substance called smoking. And one of these nights, just like this one, We've had the same, like some people think, it might be a silly procedure where Brother Larry also wrote on the paper to be free from cigarettes of 47 years. And we burned those papers afterwards, right? After we sure did. And what happened to you? A couple of months later, I told God, hey, if you don't take them now, you won't never take them. You took them away. And I tried to stop. You know, before I kept buying the pack, when I told give it to God, he just took it away. That was it. I have and, and how many years has it been since? Six years since I smoked. Six years. I know you're busy writing, but please pause for a minute and just give God praise. Amen. 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 Every cigarette you put into your mouth, you're taking 15 minutes out of your life. So enjoy it. So you look at that cigarette and say, 15 years, bye-bye. 15 years bye-bye. This brother is going to live very long. Amen. Because of the healing that God has done to his body in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's put our hands together one more time for wonderful Jesus and for wonderful brother Larry Smith. Amen. 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 Brother Larry, you go write some other things down. Good things. Good dreams. Amen. 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 And Tatiana, how you feel since Sunday prayer? No, no stomach pain? Amen. Amen. And last year, uh, some of you uh, remember that Tatiana had gastritis. Devi, how long did you have that pain for? Almost 10 years since you were in high school. And gastritis, the way it manifested is when she would eat chocolate, she would immediately, her body will react negatively to it. And last year, again, she would write on that she wanted to be free from gastritis. She left that and it's been 12 months now. And she eats chocolate and she's been in our house and she eats chocolate. And she's been free from that. If I would be you, I would give God the praise right now. Come on, somebody. <laughs> hallelujah. 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 There's a lot more that happened. And today there's going to be more incredible things that will take place in this place tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. As you're still writing, Lilia, can you come up? She wants to just share something of wonderful things that we're going to have this coming year. Yeah, exactly. I know what I'm going to say, but... Happy New Year, everybody. Um, on the other side of the world, it's already New Year, so it's old news for them, but we're still going to wait for ours. And what a better, um, there is no better place to, you know, spend your new year um, than in a place of God's presence and in his house. Amen? Amen. I just want to announce that um, next year, which is tomorrow, nothing will change unless we begin to change ourselves. And so this year we're excited because God has given us a vision. And in the Bible said, people perish because there's lack of vision. But we will not perish the next year. Because we have a vision. We have something that we will look forward to. Because our vision is to win souls and make disciples. Just plain and easy. Win souls and make disciples. And this Sunday, we'll be kicking off cell groups. They will not be called cell groups anymore. But we will call them home groups. Because they will be happening at the houses. Nowhere else. Well, can happen at Starbucks or Roasters. So, but we are excited because I had a privilege of um, helping out Vladimir with typing the material, the things that we will be learning at the home groups. And it is amazing. It is mind blowing because you will not be confused with what is the truth, where is the sin, where is the curse, where is the blessing, because it will be black and white. You will be, your vision will be open to the things of this world. Your, your mind and your heart will be open to the things of God and what God wants to do in your life. And so I am excited. I want you guys to get excited because you will never be the same. Give yourself three months and your life will be completely changed because of the things that we'll be feeding ourselves with because that's how we change ourselves ourselves by changing the things we hear by knowing the truth and so i am so excited that our church doesn't polish sin don't play church but just gives us the truth on the platter and there you have it okay amen you still writing 
No? Yes? Okay. We will take a moment and in just a few minutes, <clears throat> the things that you have dreams of, we are going to bring them to the front. And I put three nails on the cross and we're going to nail them. The reason why we're going to do that this time is usually what we do is you, the things you write you want to accomplish, I keep them in my office. And you don't remember them and then I'm, I get tempted to rip the envelope and read it. But this time, don't put your name on it. We are going to leave it here. And during the prayer times, once in a while, we're going to be looking at this direction. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna like rip them and put them in such a way that we don't see what's written on it. But that we will be able to be reminded of our dreams and remember that Jesus paid the price. So they will become a reality. Okay. So today I want you to put the dreams that you feel like Jesus already paid for. Not the dreams that you feel you deserve, but dreams that Jesus paid for. Can somebody say amen? And also that the bad things that we want to be get rid of, getting rid of, we're going to take a moment and we're going to pray against them today in this service. And we will go outside and we're going to put them in a barrel and throw fire on it. And we also have a lot of placards that have a lot of sicknesses and some of you have been through prayer and so you have your own placard there and we also feel like it would be a good time to put it through fire also amen there's just two two rows are excited everybody else is can somebody say amen in the back amen. over there alex everybody amen you, you're still in the same agreement amen 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 you guys our time has really expired to uh, to share a sermon because we really wanted to do that uh soon uh, but i just wanted to remind you if you can just kind of pay attention for a few minutes right here. I want to remind you that our God is very good. Amen. He is very merciful. And this coming year, He has a wonderful plan for us and for our church. I was reading about David, how David committed very big sin. And the only time the Bible says, and the Lord was not pleased, was when David committed this sin. He committed adultery which led to murder and a lot of cover-ups and a lot of sin and the first son that was born from that adultery immediately died after a few days and it would seem like David cried out to God and it would seem like everything was over and David the Bible says God forgives David gives him a new start and David goes in and his wife now Bathsheba conceives and births another son anybody take a guess what the name of that son was Solomon and name Solomon means beloved of the Lord and God said to Abra to, to uh, David he said this son is going to be the next king of Israel and this is the message that I've received from my heart anytime we commit sin and we repent and we get delivered from it What's going to follow our deliverance and repentance is going to be something that we could not even achieve without our sin. Think about it. David had a wife who was a good woman, yet the king wasn't born from her. David had a wife who was married to Nabal, the fool. She was wise and beautiful, yet the king, Solomon, wasn't born from a good, born good relationship. But we see a man who falls in sin and he doesn't stay in sin, but repents from sin. And God says, now I am not going to shut down your destiny. I am actually going to open a new level for you that you will never be able to achieve any other way. Every person in this room has fallen into sin somewhere, somewhere along the lines. Either into smoking pornography some into adultery some people into really really bad other addictions that are nasty to admit even here and this is what I want to tell you something that after your deliverance and after your repentance there is a birth of Solomon a new season and a new path in our life for the glory of God this year has been the year of cleansing for all of us this year has been the cleansing for our team if you watched Emmanuel TV, you probably have seen everybody in our church manifesting on Emmanuel TV, being cleansed and purified. Next year is going to be the year, the birth of Solomon. It's going to be the year where God is going to do a fresh and a new thing in our church because God has done it in the life of our leaders. 
did you even listen to the testimonies that were coming out of our people do you realize that though we are aiming for the stars but God is answering just slowly but surely and touching our lives already in incredible ways do you realize that in 12 months 525 people and most of them from all around the United States and Canada came here to a church called the Good News Church that you are a part of to receive their deliverance. Do you realize that for 10 years the things we dreamed of, this year we've stepped into it. Don't let this side fool you. Don't let your neighbor fool you because he's playing sugar candy during the service. He will be delivered next year for the glory of God. <laughs> Amen. This coming year or sh sh crush candy, that's right. Sugar crush. <laughs> crush candy is the addictive candy crush. See, I can't even pronounce it right. I was completely delivered from it in Jesus' name. Guys, this coming year is going to be a great year. What makes me so excited about this coming year is this, is that what we are starting to do this coming Sunday. We've had cell groups before, but what we are going to do is we are taking everybody, listen up, especially those of you in the back, everybody. There's a book that's called From, Ble From Curse to Blessing. It's a devotional every day, Monday through Friday. It's a small paragraphs that describe to you the things we hear here and they literally will revolutionize your life. And at the end of the week, we will meet with our cell groups and discuss what we've read. This Sunday, you will start getting your first devotionals from your cell group. Your cell leader will send it to you. We'll also have make the booklets available on Sunday that you can pick up. People will be free. We will see people in our cell groups and then after a month we're going to meet together in the evening and do more in depth. We want to see our people be completely free from curses in their lives. Amen. Curses right here because that's where most of them are at. And you can't beat them out of with a baseball bat. You need a teaching and we're going to provide the teaching. The first stage is going to be Exodus. Everybody say Exodus. Exodus. The second stage is going to be wilderness. wilderness. And the third stage is going to be promised land. This is what I can promise you. If in three months you make a commitment today, we're not asking for a commitment for a whole year, for three months, to stick with what the cell leader will tell you, you will not be the same. I didn't say everything's gonna change. I said you will not be the same. I didn't say your car's gonna change. Your car's gonna change after three months. But first three months, you are gonna change. Because it has, I've been following that teaching myself and it's been revolutionizing, revolutionizing me from the inside. And I know it will revolutionize you from the inside for the glory of God. Amen. 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 That's exactly what's going to happen. Now we must understand one thing that deliverance is the first stage where people must be delivered from the devil, from his devices. And there's a lot of people who don't want to be delivered. Before you can be delivered, and we all know that from looking at people who came for prayer line. Before you can be delivered, you must have one important ingredient. Desire. Can somebody say desire? desire. If you don't want to be free, me wanting you to be free, your mama wanting you to be free, God wanting you to be free, T.B. Joshua wanting you to be free is not going to make you free. You must have a desire. Everybody say desire. desire. Now I know that not everybody has a desire. That's where we have to start with having a desire to have a desire to be free. <laughs> and every person has a desire to have a desire to be free. Can somebody say amen? amen. There are many people who say I don't want but you want to want. And that's where we start. And this is what we realize as cell leaders, everybody, when we go to our cell groups and somebody says, I don't want to quit smoking. I don't want to quit this. You say, do you want to want to? They said, well, yeah. Perfect. That's where we start. Now let's pray that so God will give you the want. Because you already have the want to want to be free. Is everybody still with me? 
Do you remember our name? Our name is Hungry Generation. It comes from Matthew chapter 5 verse 6 and it says there this, Blessed are those who hunger for righteousness. It's interesting, it does not say, blessed are those who have righteousness. Did you know what God says? God says, even if you don't have it, but you want it, I'm going to bless you. Amen. Deliverance happens when first you desire. And that's why when you will read the things, when you will go to cell group, something is going to happen. You might not have it yet, but when you will go through it, you will have a hunger and God will bless you for it by giving you the deliverance you are hungry for. And somebody say amen. amen. This is the year where if you have a desire, God says, I can do deliverance. If you don't have a desire, God says, do you have a desire to have a desire? Well, you should. And if you don't, hit yourself. Because something's wrong with you. Every person has a desire to have a desire to be free. Can somebody say amen? This is going to be the first stage. The second stage that we're going to go through in the month of February is going to be a month where we're going to talk about wilderness. I know this is not a cute word, but it's something we've seen all the time. People get saved and after a month they begin to just emotionally fain out and they do not know what to do and what we're going to do next month is we're going to prepare you how to weather through your wilderness and last Friday night prayer Vlad has mentioned one very important thing that says don't just go through your don't just go through wilderness but grow through your wilderness can somebody say amen, amen. say don't go through through your wilderness so you grow through it when we grow through what we're going through, God is going to bring a change. And that's exactly what we're going to learn. Can somebody say amen? And the next stage is going to be the most important is where we are going to be learning how to possess a promised land. You're going to learn how to pray in fourth dimension. Fourth dimension sounds like what? You're going to learn. It's, going to, it's so awesome. You're going to learn about Holy Spirit. You're going to learn about the promises of God. You're going to learn about prosperity. You're going to, but it's not just winning the lost and delivering other people from demons, but it's also walking and seeing milk and honey in your life. Honey means the spouse and milk means the job. Probably. <laughs> but a lot of you next year, you're going to have your honey in Jesus name. Can somebody say amen? And some of you are going to get rid of some bitter stuff for the glory of God in Jesus name. Amen. The most important thing and we're going to come to prayer this coming year is going to be for all of us we've talked with the cell leaders and just with the cell leaders even tonight about this thing is prayer is the vehicle for the presence of God and the presence of God is the vehicle for our dreams if you have give me a paper where it says the the dreams part an empty one give me an empty one these all of these dreams are all possible the promised land is possible because of the presence of God and the presence of God is possible because of prayer we can't fool God and you can't fool yourself anything that we just simply name it claim it but we don't pursue the presence of God in prayer we're only fooling ourselves but this coming year is going to be different what already the Lord started with our Friday night prayers with people coming to church to pray with our leaders committing themselves to pray an hour a day to people committing themselves to seek the presence of God this coming year we are going to see because the presence of God will carry us into the dreams that we have prayer is going to become normal and prayer is going to become very wonderful because in prayer we are going to meet with God and God is going to meet with us when you are in prayer you're not meeting with an angel you're not meeting with an archangel you're not meeting with a seraphim you're not meeting with a share with the with the beast that has eyes all over him when you are in prayer you're not meeting with God level two you're not meeting with Holy Ghost junior when you are in prayer you're meeting with him who hovered over the earth when it was a chaos when you are in prayer you're meeting with him who knows where the biggest diamond might in the whole world right now and he placed it there they're looking for oil in Alaska they're looking for oil in Texas newsflash he put it there 
that's who we're meeting with so while we are there with our small jobs small dreams we walk sometimes into prayer and we kind of we, we think oh I'm really sacrificing my time and Holy Spirit walks in the architect of the invisible world and he says if you would have one percent of clue whose presence you walk into you would be embarrassed to think of prayer as a discipline it's a privilege when Holy Ghost walks demons squeak Holy Ghost is not an angel he's not an archangel that Michael had to wrestle with 21 days Holy Ghost he is not junior Holy Ghost is God sovereign everlasting without beginning and without end when he comes he comes like a boss he is in control and I want you to have a fresh appreciation this year that prayer to become so normal and so wonderful that you literally you don't see it as rigid rule but as beautiful opportunity to dream plan and act with the architect of the universe can somebody say amen this is going to be the year for us spending time soaking in the presence of God God is going to do wonderful things our cell groups will grow they will multiply amen we're going to take trips to Scotland we're going to also have wonderful prayer lines we're going to have wonderful miracle catches we're going to have wonderful things this is going to be the best year of your life I believe in my life and in the life of our leaders and in the life of our cell members this is going to be the year where you will not look no longer behind you to remember a time where you loved God the most. Come on. Amen. I believe it. Amen. Amen. Something is fresh, is building up in our heart, in our spirits. And I think this is the moment. Take just a few more seconds if you didn't finish writing your uh, dreams. I want you to take your dreams and take your other paper. And right now we're going to come to the front and we're going to pray for this coming year. We're going to pray for our dreams and we will go outside and burn the bed lists and have a wonderful time to celebrate. I want you to take your dreams and I want you to come to the front. <clears throat> All of you, if you've written it down, I want you to come to the front right now. We have very little time and if you can, baby, if you can give me my cell phone so we can keep track of time. So if you can take the bad list and somewhere hide it in your pocket and take the, take the dreams and goals. Take the dreams and goals. And I want you to right now fold them. Everybody, everybody let's come. Um, ladies, uh, you too? Victoria, your sister? No dreams this year? No dreams? Okay, it's fine. We, we have plenty of dreams here that probably include everybody here also everybody let's come hallelujah we recognize today that all these dreams are possible with Holy Spirit we recognize these dreams are possible because we're gonna pray we recognize these dreams are possible because we will go to cell groups these dreams are possible because we will be delivered because we will be disciplined and because we're gonna also have dominion in our promised land in Jesus name I want you to lift up these lists right now And say Holy Spirit I commit my life into your will I commit my time to spend with you to dream to plan to strategize and to make goals so that these dreams will become reality say Holy Spirit intervene in my affairs in 2014 in Jesus name I want you to open up your lips right now and lift this list right now up and I want you to pray for it right now say Holy Spirit I welcome your involvement Holy Spirit I need your involvement in this year I ask you that this year is going to be filled with your power I ask you that this year is going to be filled with your grace I ask you that this year is going to be a year where I'm going to plan where I'm going to dream and where you're going to be beside me where I'm going to be beside you Holy Spirit I will walk out of my prayer room being filled with boldness I did not have I will walk out of my prayer room being filled with 
ideas I could not think of. I will walk out of my prayer room being filled with your presence Holy Spirit. I will walk this year in my deliverance. I will walk this year in my discipline. I will walk this year in my dominion over the enemy. This year Lord I will reach for the stars and I will walk with you. I will depend on your power and on your grace in Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. And no demon in hell is going to stop the Holy Ghost. And no demon in hell will stop the plan of God in my life. And no demon in hell will stop the ideas of God from coming to pass and the promises of God. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In the name of Jesus. I want you to take your other list. Maybe print the good list and just lay it on the, on the front. Flip it over. We'll have somebody put it on the cross. Flip, flip it over. Yeah, fl just flip it over. We'll put it on the cross. But right now, lay it down. Let's do it quickly. Let's take, your, let's take the other list that needs to be, that we need to renounce and come against the enemy. addictions, habits, sins, things that are of the enemy that we want to be, I want you to lift this up right now. This is the moment that could be defining for some people right now. This can be the moment where God's presence can heal your body. This is the moment where the change that you've had, if, if a man can have 47 year addiction, at a simple prayer this can change for you today i want you to lift up right now that paper close your eyes say out loud after me say every chain that satan might have used to connect me through my weakness to himself i break it in jesus name say i break it in jesus name say be broken in Jesus name say you chain you that addiction you sickness you are not coming into the next year you are staying back you're gonna be burned by the fire of God in Jesus name in the name of Jesus lift that lift that paper right now just begin to come against it right now open up your mouth right now begin to say you are cursed begin to say you have no power over my life in next year I strip your power out of my life in Jesus mighty name so loose your grip out of my destiny you that addiction you held me long enough this is the end for you enough is enough enough is enough I'll receive today my dominion I'll receive today my freedom I'll receive today my change in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name your spirit of loneliness your spirit of rejection your spirit of rejection your spirit of loneliness your spirit of failure your spirit of arthritis your spirit of high blood pressure your spirit of cancer your spirit of deafness your spirit of hypertension your spirit of family conflict in Jesus mighty name you have no power over my next year in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name name and right now father we ask you that you will bring healing in the name of Jesus Christ we command every spirit of loneliness to be gone in Jesus name we command every spirit of hypertension to be gone in Jesus name we command every spirit of rejection to be gone in Jesus mighty name lift in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus Christ we declare right now a new beginning we declare a year of the crossing bridge a year of destiny in Jesus mighty name so this is the year of my destiny this is the year of my freedom this is the year of my dreams with the Holy Spirit in Jesus name I want to welcome you the year 2014 in Jesus mighty name hallelujah Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. This is not just shouts. This is not just enthusiasm. This is not a ceremony for us. This is a reality. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Amen. What we want to do right now is I want you to put your coat on and I want you to take these lists. We had um, Slamita. Slamita, is uh, Andre went to pick up the. Yeah, it's ready. Okay. Okay. So right now, take your coats, take the bed lists. We're going to go outside quickly, burn those things, and then come back. <laughs> 